This is the Reformed Church in Kimishara, the place where back in December 1989 a small crowd gathered to protest against the court order for the eviction of Pastor Vlasko Turkish. From this spark, the Romanian revolution exploded. The security forces immediately and brutally responded, but in an unprecedented outpouring of anger and courage, the people stood their ground, defying the army with only their voices and bare hands. Crying freedom and down with Ceausescu, they marched on the local Communist Party headquarters. Constantin Duma, known in Timisoara as the photographer of the revolution, remembers those history-making days. In, in this place, there was... We ran. We crossed a little bridge over the river and there were four armoured vehicles coming from the students' campus direction. There was a woman in her 50s and I think because of the lack of visibility she was caught and simply crushed under the wheels. It was a woman. I know this is the first casualty in our revolution. On December 17th, the alarmed communist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu now ordered his forces to open fire on the protesters, condemning them as reactionaries and terrorists. Many were killed or wounded in Timisoara. Traian Orban still feels the pain from the bullet that hit his leg. It was extraordinary to hear from my hospital bed because I was wounded. The people of Timisoara were chanting freedom and asking for the dictator and his people to be tried here. On the 20th of December, Timisoara declared itself the first city in Romania free of communism. Fueled by decades of oppression, the revolution quickly spread to Bucharest and beyond. While trying to escape, Ceausescu and his wife Elena were caught, tried and shot on Christmas Day, December 25th. His repressive regime gone within days. Thirty years on, and young people in Timisoara know that the freedom they enjoy today was built on sacrifice of the 1989 anti-communist protesters. But while honoring their memory, they want to move on and forge a new revolution, a brighter future. Teenagers, not my age, but below my age, uh, tend to just don't care or, yeah, it's just history. We hear it every day as people who live in Timisoara. I believe that every generation must uh, have their own revolution. Okay, no matter if it's different, because for sure it is, uh, maybe the same thing happens, but in a different context. 30 years ago, on the stairs of this cathedral, there was a bloodbath. Hundreds lost their lives right here in the western city of Timisoara. And because of their courage and sacrifice, the fate of the whole country changed. Now the city is simply waiting for Christmas. From Timisoara, Marijanion, Euronews.